49, about 50% of urinary calculi, which are kidney stones in general terms, consist of calcium phosphate, which is Ca3PO42. The normal mid-range calcium content excreted in the urine is 0.10 grams of calcium per day. The normal mid-range amount of urine passed may be taken as 1.4 liters per day. What is the maximum concentration of phosphate ion that urine can contain before a calculus begins to form, aka a kidney stone? Okay, so we just want to know what's the maximum amount of phosphate that can be in the urine before someone develops a kidney stone? Well, it's taken from the information that they gave us. They said that the normal mid-range calcium content excreted was 0.1 grams of CA per day, and then the, no the normal amount of the urine passed, maybe 1.4 liters. Now remember, kidney stones are solid calcium phosphate, right? Kidney stones are, are consist of solid stones. So we're dealing with things that can dissolve, right? But if you have too much, you're going to form a solid and that's in the form of calcium phosphate. So when we're talking about precipitating or forming a solid, right? That's solubility product, KSP. So I had to go in the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility product is of calcium phosphate, which is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 32. Now with every KSP, we need a balanced equation. And the compound that we're going to be using is the calcium phosphate. So let's just write a balanced equation for that. So remember, we always start with the solid. So CA3PO42, that's the solid. And this will break down into its two ions. In this case, the break is between the calcium and the phosphate, right? Phosphate is PO4. So I got CA plus PO4. Now, they did tell me that the calcium was a plus two charge, and I just gave it to you, that phosphate is always a negative three, but you can find that out by taking the three and crisscrossing it back up. Since they're both charges, they're aqueous, and now we just have to make sure that we have a balanced equation, but I see that I have three calciums, so I need to put a three in front of the CA, and I have two phosphates, so I have to put a two in front of the phosphate. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to move this over here. Now let's actually write the general KSP equation, right? Given our equation right over here. Now remember the general KSP equation is this right here. It's just KSP equals the products raised to the coefficients. So in this case, we have a KSP of our two products, right? We have calcium, Ca2 plus, and we have a phosphate, so PO4, three minus. Just make sure you gotta raise them to the coefficients. So then since there was a three in front of the calcium, I have to take the calcium and raise it to the third power. And since there was two phosphates, I'm gonna square that one. Okay, but now where am I gonna get these values? Well, remember brackets means molarity and molarity, capital M, always equals moles divided by liters, right? Moles of solute divided by liters of solution. But they told us that we had 0 0.10 grams of the calcium. I can't, you know, get a molarity from a gram value. So the first thing I have to do is I just have to convert these grams into moles. So let's see, I have 0 0.10 grams of the CA2 plus. And we could just do the shortened version, right? If we wanna go from grams of something to moles of the same thing, so it's the calcium, right? All we have to do is just divide by the molar mass. So I gotta go on my periodic table and find the mass of calcium. And calcium looks like it's just 40.08. So all we have to do is just divide by 40.08. Calcies out. Let's see what we get. 0.1 divided by 40.08. I get, I guess we'll, we won't round too much. 2.495, we'll say. 495 
times 10 to the negative third. And that's moles of the calcium. Okay. So now I know my top number. I know that my mole value is going to be 2.495 times 10 to the negative third. And maybe I will take this and maybe put this, I guess we'll put it over here. Now I just need the liters. Well, they did say that it was a total of 1.4 liters per day. So that's going to be the bottom number, 1.4 liters. Maybe I'll just say 1.4, right? Now, in this case, we can find out what the molarity of the calcium is because it was because of the calcium. So let's see. 2.495 times 10 to the negative third divided by 1.4. I get 1.78. I guess we'll say 1.782 times 10 to the negative third. And that's now molarity. So that's the number that goes with the calcium. So I have 1.782 times 10 to the negative third molarity for the calcium. So I know this number. So that number is 1.782 times 10 to the negative third. From the back of the textbook, we also know what that KSP value is, right? That KSP value is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 32nd. But the thing is, is that I don't know what the phosphate concentration is. Well, there's two different ways that you could do it. We can say that, okay, we don't know what the phosphate is, and that's what we're looking for, right? What is that maximum concentration of phosphate? So I'm gonna label this as X. Now, you can drop down the coefficient and say that this is a 2X. However, if you plug in a 2X into your phosphate ion concentration, and we do the math, we're always going to get x equals something. You have to remember to go back and times it by 2, right? Because you labeled the phosphate as 2x. Now, let's just say you're pressed for time on a test or a quiz, or you might forget, right? You might get a little bit of points taken off. So for these types of questions, it's just better to just label the phosphate as an x. And if we use that, which we're going to use here, and just plug it in for x, whatever the x value is, that's the answer for the phosphate ion. So let's go for it. 1.3 times 10 to the negative 32nd equals, let's see, actually, I don't need that much room. So I have 1.7, 1.782 times 10 to the negative third, and that's cubed, and then x squared. Okay, so it looks like I just have to do this value first, right? Whatever that cubed is. So 1.782 times 10 to the negative third. We're going to cube that. So we get 1.3 times 10 to the negative 32nd equals 5.658. We'll say 9. Cut it off after that many times 10 to the negative ninth, and that's x squared. So now we just need to solve for x. So just divide on both sides by that number, 5.6, yeah, 5.6589 times 10 to the negative ninth, 5.6589 times 10 to the negative ninth. This goes bye-bye. And now you're just left with x squared. Beautiful. And now let's just do that math. 1.3 times 10 to the negative 32 divided by 5.6589 times 10 to the negative ninth. I get 2.297. That's good enough. Times 10 to the negative 24th. However, we just want to solve for x. So it's x squared. So I am going to just take the square root on both sides. So square root 2.297 times 10 to the negative 24th. And I guess I'll put x over here. x equals, actually, I'll put x down here. x equals 1.5,
technically two sig figs, so we'll say 1.5 times 10 to the negative 12th. And remember, that's molarity. So we wanted to find that maximum concentration of phosphate ion. That was just X. So PO4, 3 minus, was just X. And it's the 1.5 times 10 to the negative 12th. And that's molarity. There you go. And that's the answer for this one, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you with future questions. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.